Sorry, Hillary. I was running on CP time. That's not, I don't, I don't like jokes like that. Cautious politician time. Hello, comrades. Oh, that was awful. So I'm a new soul to Dark Souls. I'm gonna attempt to play this game. Let's see the intro. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Saint of the Deep. Farron's undead legion, the Abyss Watchers. will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. So it is that Ash seeketh embers. I love it. I love the artwork. So I've already given this game a little bit of a spin. Try to get used to the um, the controls, which are really bad for for a PC game but this is not a PC game so you have to adapt I'm not quite sure what what is the best thing here I guess the ring is the most overpowered but because I'm a noob I'm obviously going to go for the the easiest body for body I'm, I'm pretty body like proportionally so Appearance is fine. Voice. This color. Yeah, um, matches my color. Okay. Yeah, the controls are really weird. Like, even menus, like, if you want to go back, you have to press the right mouse button and then you select back. When the first Dark Souls came out in about 2011, I believe.
so I'm a zombie, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, 2011, this game came out, the first game came out, and um, at that time, I was a PC gamer of my whole life, but at that time, I quit gaming altogether, because I wanted to focus on college. Yeah, so... So I skipped the first, first game. Even though it, it had really hyped reviews. I'm gonna adjust my... Uh, my sound. Got the hyped reviews. a spiritual success to the Demon Souls, which I have not played as well, since it's a console game. But once again, this artwork is just amazing. The whole thing is like heavily loaded with metaphors. Like for example, um, obviously the, the, the fire is uh, it's a spark of life. It's a metaphor for life. So, all things want to live. So, all things are seeking fire in this game. For life. the starting area already it just still still feels kind of off I have a PlayStation game pads Dual Shock 4 two of them but this game it automatically see automatically locks you in to the Xbox A and B and you know so it makes it kind of confusing it also doesn't really work out of the box with a PS4 controller using this uh, input mapper program which is third party add support for the PlayStation uh, controllers and still have to mess a little bit to make it work so I just decided to screw it Give it a go with a keyboard and mouse. See, uh, see how I do. I've killed the first few bosses. This is the optional boss here. Which I found really hard. I mean, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing in this game. I love the design. Like I said, this is the closest thing to the original Diablo. Action cube is kind of pissing me off in this game. Might not even make it in this, this fucking play. Uh. Yep. Get my money back, whatever this is.
Why does it do the last bit? I don't understand. You have to really be careful with how many mouse clicks you have. Sort of queues up the actions in front. move I did not see before. So that went alright. There's a bit of a clipping and popping in this game, but otherwise the performance is stellar. With exception of uh, checkpoints. The checkpoints have uh, hiccups, which there is really zero reason. SSD. Uh, SSD is in good condition. We have software monitoring. So I've seen uh, seen some warnings about this game having like pretty big issues, uh, crashing like uh, near the first uh, what's it called the fire light bonfire. Mm -hmm. 